Hey everybody, naturalist Linda here. I'm outside today at the Westwoods on a cold, snowy day. Um, you might think I'm hugging this tree. Um, well, maybe I am actually. But anyway, I'm in search of things that are evergreen or maybe greenish or yellowish greenish or bluish greenish. And there's a number of those colors right here on this tree. And um, if you take a look at it, stand back a little bit, um, it's covered in all of this crusty stuff that is called lichen. And what are lichens? It's a symbiotic relationship between an algae and a fungus. And, um, and actually they've been used to study air quality because lichens don't grow, grow well in heavily polluted areas. Um, they're also some of the first colonizers of things like bare rock and um, sort of paved the way for the succession of um, more of our um, rooted plants that we know, like mosses, and then the um, um, forest plants, and then ultimately trees. So anyway, um, there's three kinds of lichens right here on this tree trunk, and they're all called shield lichens. There's a common green shield lichen, there's one called hammered shield lichen, and there's another one called uh, rough spotted shield lichen. And we'll take a closer look at some of these in a minute or two here. So if you're wondering where this amazing lichen covered tree is, well, all you have to do is drive down the driveway towards the picnic shelters at the Westwoods and you will see it standing at the entrance to the two parking lots. So there's our tree, there's Turkey Ridge Shelter in the background. And so, um, in fact, um, noted uh, Ohio photographer Ian Adams was so impressed with this tree that he actually came here to photograph it. And so um, he wrote a really nice blog article about it. And I'm gonna include the link for that at the end of this little video so that you can check it out. He's got great pictures and great explanations of um, some of the species that he found on this tree. So um, I'll point out three of the ones that he talked about here. Uh, the first one is the common green shield lichen, which is this pale greenish one right here. It's there it's round, it's maybe, I don't know, four inches in diameter, but there's lots of them um, covering this tree, common green shield lichen. And then the other one is the hammered shield lichen, which is this sort of bluish grayish right here. And if you look at some of the structures there on the um, parts of the lichen, it looks like these were actually hammered with a ball peen hammer. It's got that sort of hammered texture to it. And then the other um, species that was on this tree is the rough speckled shield lichen, which is right here. It's got sort of these granules in it. So three species on one tree. Lichens can grow on rock. They can cover tree trunks. They grow on dead wood. Um, they don't harm the tree in any way, so it's not dangerous to have them on there. And um, it just shows that we have good air quality and habitat in Jaga County so that they can um, make their living. So there's many species of lichens in Jaga County and the lichens um, fall into three categories. Um, the first category is what is called crustose lichen and the second category are Bolios lichens, and the last category are called fruticos lichens, and they all refer to the growing style of the lichen. And so um, we said before that that uh, lichens can colonize um, bare rock. They can colonize tree trunks. Um, sometimes they might be find them growing on the bare soil amidst mosses and things like that. So anyway, um, we're going to take a look now at uh, some that are growing actually on the sandstone wall 
going down the stairs to our lower entrance area of the Westwoods. So I'm going to turn the camera around and then we'll take a look at some of them. And so here's our stel stairwell area and um, you can see that there's some lichens that are growing on some of the sandstone rocks that makes up this wall. So let's take a closer look at some of these. Now you see some yellowish lichens that are growing there and I think that these might belong to that category of lichens called crustose lichens that grow very close to the surface. The, um, they're really tightly packed together and, and grow really close to the substrate that they're growing on. And then there's some folios lichens too in there that are sort of leafy. Folios lichens have leafy structure to them. Let's see what else we can find here. Here's some some more yellow and I see some moss there growing in the cracks. Um, so the the crustos lichens are really sort of the, the pioneer organisms that pave the way for the mosses and then the ferns and then some of our um, more complex rooted plants. So even though it's a cold and snowy day today, um, if you go outside and look around you still may find some evergreen colors here and there um, if you really take the time to look. So I hope you've enjoyed looking at lichens with me and um, maybe appreciate them a little bit more. They're really, really very beautiful. Take a hand lens and, and take a look at some of them up close. So anyway, till next time, see you later. Bye.